If you remember, in the passage in Matthew's Gospel, there were two extra categories of people to be helped. That was that we were to cleanse the lepers and raise the dead. These didn't come in the other Gospels. Anyway, let's just have a quick think about those. We wonder, why did Jesus mention the lepers in particular? Well, I suggest it was because the lepers were the untouchable people of his day. And so when we're trying to help other people and get them free, do not overlook the untouchable people. I suppose in our country at the moment, that's the ones who sit by the side of the pavement, uh, they're homeless, and oh, it's just so tempting to walk on past. So we're not to neglect those people, even the hardest cases. Touch the untouchable, show them love. That was lovely how the Princess of Wales showed love to the ones who had AIDS when uh, that first came out. I think that really was a wonderful inspiration to so many of us. Anyway, I know of three towns in the UK where all the churches have banded together so that there's always a place open overnight for homeless people. I think that's really nice. The churches, they take it in turn, and they open up so that there's going to be nobody just left out overnight in the winter. Uh, I think that's fantastic. And uh, hopefully they really show love to these people and um, who knows what the results are. Now, when it comes to raising the dead, uh, Paul said somewhere the last enemy to be overcome is death and um, I think pretty tricky really. I've never got anywhere with this. I did once, uh, our guinea pig died and I did once try to raise it and prayed over it but uh, didn't get anywhere but that's it. And certainly in our society uh, the dead are spirited away before you have the chance to get anywhere near them. I mean we sort of brush it out of sight. So I think this is pretty tricky. But anyway let's take some encouragement from scripture. Uh, if you, the two passages to read are John chapter 11, where Jesus raises Lazarus, and notice when he heard that Lazarus had died, he stayed two days where he was. He didn't, or at least when he heard he was sick, he didn't race. It's not a panic. He was in faith uh, towards God over it. Faith is so crucial. We'll think about that in a moment. And the other great passage is Ezekiel 37. Read them through. Uh, I love Ezekiel 37 because there's Ezekiel and God shows him all these dead bones and says, can these live again? And Ezekiel, very cautious, he says, well, you know, Lord, I'm not too sure about this. Um, and all the way through, God tells him what to pray. And he gives the command and because God's told him what to say, it happens. And this is helpful to us in this ministry that um, it says in the Gospels that Jesus only ever did what he saw the Father doing. That is, he picked up what God was doing, and then he went with that. And that was the result, with the, with the fruitful result of what he did. So it's the same for us. We need to have a sense, uh, what is God doing in this situation, and then pray that way. And very helpful towards this are the spiritual gifts, which you'll find listed in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, the end of the chapter. Not entirely clear what they all are, but they sort of, the ones that are going to help us most are when you just get a sense from God that you need to pray this, or whatever it might be. And sometimes I've had the experience of it talks about the gift of faith. I just suddenly know that the thing to pray is this and I can pray it with great authority and then a wonderful thing can happen. Uh, it's a great privilege to be involved with uh, a woman who couldn't give birth and um, just knew that it was the right thing to pray. And the little baby was born a bit later. That was fantastic a year later. So it was really good. So anyway, we are to raise the dead as well. And... Uh, I think what that really means for us in practice, even if we don't ever get to raise a dead person, is don't ever think of any situation as being hopeless. <laughs> you know, never give up on people. There's always hope and there's always another chance. Jeremiah 33. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time in the prison house. You know, we may have blown it once, but the word of the Lord will come to us again the second time. Never give up. We're to set the people free.